As you've probably guessed, this episode is all about getting the Tardun Lee Diary done. And let me tell ya, it's got some pretty hefty requirements, and I'll need to do lots of skilling that many players dread to get it done. Agility, thieving, smithing, none of these are particularly enjoyable skills to do, and not very friendly on the wrist. With that in mind, I obviously started by training runecrafting. Why the fuck would I train runecrafting if Arduino Lee Diary has no runecrafting requirements? Well, initially I plan to complete more than just the RDL Lee Diary in this episode, like the Premonic Lee Diary which requires 82 runecrafting. But that didn't end up happening and there is only one culprit. Agility. I did however end up training runecrafting until level 77, completing Sins of the Father to unlock blood runes, returning to Guardians of the Rift to buy a ring of the elements, and then trying out Arceus blood runecrafting. And then, it was finally time. Time to start the agility training. Nay, not training. The agility grind. During agility I decided to relieve the first episode of the series, by the way, go and watch it, and ran Herbrons. I had plenty of seeds from before, and many more from Phantom Musma, and I wanted to grow them all. One thing I did forget was to plant one of those fancy Hespori seeds though. That was kind of an L on my, on my part. Start off with Jolty pretty simple. Series rooftop until 80, then I move into the Relax the rooftops until 82, after which it was finally time. Time to go into the hell of poultry. Alright! Agility man like you, and then I took an arrow to the knee. Bruh. Oh, blue complete! Damn, we got the band, let's play, buddy! 71 prayer! 80 for agility, let's go! Three more levels! Quick test it! Damn! Agility! 84! One to go! Let's go! I'm late, I'm late, I'm late now! Yeah. What? You first one best in 4 4? God damn, son! There are my two sets. Jeez. Fuck! I forgot to use so much damage. God damn it! Mm. Level? 85! That's gonna finish this level and I'm fucking done, let's go! Baby. Our Doom Lab completed. And with that, agility was finally over. In total, I spent over 32 hours and a half running laps, 
made 274 marks of grace and 665 held marks, which I spent primarily on support for exclusive items. I ended up running 893 laps on the Sears rooftops, 550 on the Raleca rooftops, and 143 laps per floor up to floor 4 in Hell's Sepultry. Gain a grand total of around 1,750,000 XP, give or take a couple thousand as I didn't include XP gained from failed laps on rooftops and coffees in Sepultry. Here's my best Hell's Sepultry stats, and the reason it's missing a floor 4 lap is because I accidentally shut my PC down when I failed an obstacle. In other words, I rage quit, but completely by accident, trust me. With the JLT done, time to go bonk some heads. Alright, now it's time to get my thieving levels up for the Ordinary Diary. I'm going to go all the way up to 84, and I'm just going to do it by blackjacking. So I'll see how the fuck that goes. Never done it before, so can't wait. Alright, so for the actual strategy, I'm going to need to change my layout, I think. So that this actually locks to the bottom. Then I can knock out. Yep, not like that. Okay. Yeah, 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 there it is, okay. So now I can just keep my mouse in the same spot. Don't need to move it at all. That's basically the best way to do it. There's the first level, 76, let's go! Oh my god, it's a good song! Level 77, 5 to go? Seventy-eight, four to go. Level seventy-nine. Level eighty. Two more to go. Eighty-one thing. One level to go. Eighty-two thing. Took just over five hours and uh, definitely think I have carpal tunnel now, bruh. There we go. Hero pickpocketed! And lockpicked. Alright, and our daily Hasporic kill down. Hopefully, bottomless bucket? Nope. So, just on a farm run, and I've planted Torstal in the Ardoom patch as it's required for the achievement diary. Alright, I need 91 cooking, and I didn't realize I was already at so close to it, so I'm just gonna. Really quickly get it done by cooking my anglerfish. I just realized that this is not a very flattering angle of my character. God damn. 91 cooking. Now I can cook manta rays. Alright, that's fucking Pog, that's exactly what I want. Just did a fishing crawl for the manta rays. Now I just need to cook it here, I believe. And there we are! Our elite task complete. Alright, our elite task complete. I'm honestly in here just for the task. I have no idea how this minigame works. Alright, completed some clues. Let's check the casket. Fucking lit. Holy shit. God damn. Alright, well, initially I had different plans for my smithing XP, but given I'm this close, I'm just going to use up my gold ore doing BF gold bars.
87 smithing. Now I should be able to boost to complete the Ardune Diary. Another task complete. Made my first rune crossbow. Already have like six in the bank though. Bottomless bucket, please! Fuck. Oh. That was, uh. That was going to be the last one. Well, thank fuck that I have like 700 of them. Well, not all that's left is to wait another hour and 10 minutes, and I'm just going to babysit it right here. Alright, it's finally grown. So let's get it. And there it is. Elite Diary complete. All that's needed is to go grab the cape. And there it is. Elite cape completed. Herblore! Level 80? That's huge. Now at this point you may be wondering why. Why the RD Elite? Well, this fine gentleman here will now deliver sand straight into my bank, reducing my sandstone grind in the future once I decide to go mining for 99 crafting. Was it worth it? 1 billion percent worth it. And here we are once again, the end of the video. Next episode is going to be getting the quest cape. With Sensei the Father out of the way, only 3 quests remain to be completed. It's gonna be quite a task. I do need to clear TOB after all, and I don't have any friends to do it with. Well, I'm just gonna try entry mode solo or something. Oh, and I've opened a chat channel now. You can join by joining Iron Noob 2 No idea how it works, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and ta-ta. See you next time. Don't really fuck me in the ass.